Hello everybody and welcome back to XCOM episode 2 now. So, since this is a national, dis well not national even, like worldwide crisis, I think $200 doesn't really compare to having four more scientists working for you, so I'm going to go for the United States just because I want scientists. Understood. The, the troops, troops are waiting, waiting for you in the hangar. Okay. These are my troops. Must increase squad size through the officer training school. Um, edit unit. Do I have to pick him? Can I can I pick a different unit? Can I pick a different unit? He's from America. So, assault rifle, pistol. Frag grenade. Edit unit. Loadout. Yay, he's got the rocket launcher. Okay, I guess I can't really change the units too much, but I can see where they're all from. Okay. And you. So I got two Americans. And I actually don't know what flag that is. I think it might be Czech Republic? Not sure. Or Mexico. Not sure. No, that's definitely not Mexico. Denmark? Not sure. Not sure on flags. I am not good with flags. So I can't swap out my units. I'm stuck with these guys. So launch mission. Hello. And yes, I'm sorry about the other episode having the volume a little too low for the background. I am going to actually up that after this episode. I couldn't, for some reason, go into options during this screen and I am recording like the second episode right after the first episode so the next one I will definitely be able to do that because I do not even know if it's saved. Begin the assault. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Gotcha. So I'm watching the mission now. I love this plane's wings. I hope they close again. Come on, show it. Show your awesomeness. Or not. Everyone's just kind of like, go, 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 go. Hold on, soldier. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Okay. Left shift. And tab. Okay, that did not work. So he's gonna go and check out the inside of here. Now open the door quietly so you don't reveal your position to the enemy. Okay. Now take cover inside. Okay. Alright. Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. Wait, which one? What which one does he want? I don't know which one he wants to go up. To change elevations by pressing up. Okay. Go for it. Oh, I didn't know he was going to climb the pipe. I thought he was going to use the porta potty. There they are. The rest of you, advance toward the enemy and get into cover. Hold your fire until I give the word. Okay. You're going to go there. And you want to put you there. Alien activity. Oh shit! Um. Right. Left shift or tab or mouse buttons that I do not have to change targets. Okay. Um. 
Can't I fire the rocket? Wait, what? Why can't I fire it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. 52% chance to hit. 68% chance to hit. Okay, that's one down. Um, V. Okay, what do you want me to do here? I'm trying to- pr I'm pushing V to open this door. Um, okay. Let's go! Enter. Yes, kill him. Holy crap! The commander will be assuming command now as you sweep the rest of the area. As always, I'll be offering tactical advice as needed. And remember, your armor can only withstand a couple of shots from their weapons. So keep your eyes open and your heads down. Wait. Wait. There's more? Ah, shit. Okay. Oh, I should have brought him over there. Okay, well, you can go here. I'm gonna have you come here. Yeah, that'll be a good spot. Oh, through the window. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you guys will both be little partners over here. Actually, you know what? I did not explore. Oh, hello. I'm gonna keep you all together, though. There's probably something over there. I'm gonna move you here. I don't think that's a very good hidey spot. Um, can I just not move you anymore? Okay. Yeah, you're gonna come here. And I think I want you to wait now. Where? Okay, so he's moving. I'm gonna have him move here. And then here. Oh, there's the rest of them. Oh, they went inside. Oh. Okay. So those bodies don't do anything. I wanted to actually, like, check them. Okay, I'm going to have you come here. I'm gonna have you come all the way over here and then hide down here. Alien turn. I wanna shoot just a rocket right in there. What did he just do? Defense up? That's fine. They can't even get you. Commander, our veterans' rocket launcher should make easy work of the structure the aliens are using for cover. And if we're lucky, it'll take out the aliens along with it. That is, if it hits. Are you telling me it's not going to hit? Hey, 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 I wasn't done with him yet. They're telling me he can't fire a frickin' rocket now. Damn it. Okay, well, I want him... come here. And then... to hide here. 
Can I get you? No, I can't get him up there. Damn it! Okay, you guys are all coming over here to hide. That's for you. You can come here. And then here. They're not coming out. They're just shooting out. Oh no, they're not even shooting out. They're still increasing each other's like health or something. I don't know what they're doing. Wait. But another one like that, that'll be the end of you. Make sure to stay in cover. Aim carefully, soldier. You only get one shot. I think I shot it perfectly. Got him. Yeah, they're both dead, right? Aliens killed. Four. Excellent. Oxcom lost. Excellent. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Okay. We're returning to base, which has a satellite nearby. I don't like cut talking during these cutscenes because I feel like I'm making everyone else miss out. To squatty, you click to assign. Specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable to close combat situations. Fire a shot with plus 30% critical chance and extra damage. Nice. Oh, he was wounded for six days. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, command. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the Council. The Council. Hello, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. One guy is not a Council. We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Regardless, you performed admirably. As agreed upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. New facility available. Laboratory. Each laboratory increases reach of speed by 20%. Uh, plus 10% increased reach of speed for every adjacent laboratory. Build. Use the build facilities option in engineering to construct the facility. The XCOM squad deployed to United States, CIA, panic has increased across Asia. The Council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only so much we can do. However, our chief engineer did come up with something to help you keep an eye on things. Oh, did he now? Was that the satellite I saw? Okay. And they'll take their funding and additional support. I'm not quite sure what I do here. Oh, you're talking. The primary meter above the main screen, which engineering is nicknamed the Doom Tracker. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Uh, you know, no, I don't want to go to mission control. I want to go to research. Hello, Commander. The current research task is progressing as expected. However, it will still be some time before the schematics are ready for engineering. I'm sure you have other pressing matters to attend to in the meantime. Uh, okay. Fine, mission control. Commander, Dr. Volland reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Oh my god. Wait, what? The schematics for the nanofiber vest are complete, Commander. Engineering is awaiting approval for fabrication. Okay. Commander, with this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, 
must understand their physiology. <sighs> Why would I agree with that? That sounds like some science mumbo jumbo. Thank you, Commander. It's the only one I that let you know when this research has been completed. It's like learning animal husbandry in civilization. Engineering online. Hm. It appears Dr. Shen's staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. I don't know if I want to trust an engineer that just figured out how to do that. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Nanofiber vest made from a dense weave of nanotube fibers. This lightweight vest provides extra damage absorption to the wearer. Or med kits. Yeah, I want the vest to start with. Or maybe not. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why aren't you letting me pick the vest? Oh, now you are. Let's see. I want four. Fabrication of the nanofiber vest is complete, Commander. It has been delivered to the armory. Oh, that was quick. Commander to the barracks. Uh. From engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory commander. So he's wounded. Oh, I don't have any Canadians. Aw. That's not cool. Okay, well, whatever. Like I can change a lot of shit, apparently. Select loadout. Oh, okay, I see. Select the Fragonate nanofiber vest. Commander to the situation room. Really? That counts as his grenade slot? That's weird. That is weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you another. I'm gonna give you a vest as well. Um, customize you. Your first name is gonna be. Mm, Devin. Last name R. There we go. Your race. Well, I really shouldn't probably switch this, but eh, we'll go back to what you originally were. There we go. I'm not going to change any of that. Just your name. Continue on, soldier. Okay. Anderson, I think, yes, I think you come with me a lot, too, so, first name, Grant. Confirm, last name, K. There we go. Although, there is one thing I'm going to change about you. Facial hair. Yeah, you know, there's not a lot of changes coming from what I've seen. Yeah, there we go. That looks more like Grant. But first, wait, I thought I saw... No, definitely going with that one. What? Once I find it again. Oh, yeah, back. 14. There you go, Grant. Sorry, Devin. You're, uh... You're black. Even though... <laughs> you're not normally... <laughs> Alrighty, let's change you to the nano vest as well. Customize you. You will be Dylan. Last name Panku. 
Yeah, I'll say that looks like him. And of course, this guy here. I'm gonna change him. For now. Uh, however, I do have to change your race because, you know. I wanted to be something like me. Although, I doubt I can make him look like me at all. Especially with all this. Oh, oh, he can go bald. Okay. Brown hair. No facial hair, really, except for, like, 5 o'clock shadow. Is that an option? Is 5 o'clock shadow a thing? Yeah, we'll go with that. There we go. Okay. Oh, situation room again. Where is the save option? Is there a save option? I don't want to go to the situation room. Commander, the council has requested a word. Again. Hello, Commander. We require your assistance with a unique matter. We expect that you will give it the same level of attention as you would for any other project objective. One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight into the aliens' operation. We'll transmit the coordinates now. Farewell, Commander. We know you will not disappoint us. Ugh. Sounds like we better get to it. Yeah, not now. Oh, I can't even pick that. Okay, well, thank you all for watching episode 2, and I'll see you all in the next one, and hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to do the options, and if not, I will just play through again until I get to this point. Thank you all for watching.